I'm Clark Stiver. I'm run, running for re-election to House District 12. Uh, appreciate your support. I'm Don Hollingshead. I'm running for Laramie County Commissioner. I uh, retired last year after 27 years as a Laramie County Sheriff's Department. I believe that I am uniquely positioned with my back, past experiences with county government to be able to fulfill that role. Thank you. My name is Kathy Russell. I'm running for House District 7. That's been the seat that Bob Nicholas has occupied for about 12 years. Thank you. Uh, my district runs from Powder House down to Del Range, across the interstate, into the eastern part of Western Hills, and up to Vanda High. My experience is I was in oil and gas. I have a secondary ed teaching degree and I've been executive director for the state party for six years. I've talked to a lot of people, addressed a lot of issues. I can do this job. Thank you. My name is Ann Lucas. I'm running for House District 43. My opponent has been in the Wyoming House for 20 years. My House District is spread all over the place because my opponent jury-rigged the redistricting committee and put his house in what we call the Zwanitzer Notch in my House District. My background is I was a banker for 40 years. I get budgeting, I get finance, I get money. Thanks folks, appreciate your support. I'm Kathy Sigliano and I'm running for County Commissioner. That is the entire county, I'm not in a specific area. So every single one of you, I expect you to vote for me. I'm the cutest one that's on the list. One of the biggest things that I think I get asked about why I'm running for county commissioner is because I am extremely against the fact that our county commissioners shut down our county and had a hand in that. I had two boys that were in public school that were masked continuously for two years almost and not one of those county commissioners came to a school board meeting and suggested that they did not have to be masked even after our governor lifted the mask mandate along with supporting small businesses and making sure obviously that our growth is responsible in our county. I will make sure that I am listening to you as a community. I can only speak from my heart on what I want to see in a county commissioner because that's who I am. I am here to work for you, not the other way around. Hi, I'm Sheila Kistler, and this is the first time I've ever gotten involved in something like this. I am running for school board for Laramie County School District number one school board. I am an at-large. Um, I decided to do this because I've spent 32 years in this district. I don't like the direction in which it is going, and so I want to make a difference. I think we have forgotten that the board is in charge of the district and not the district in charge of the board. And I've had to read a lot, I've had to teach a lot of these programs that I don't support. And if we had a strong board, not that we don't, we're getting there, but if we had a strong board that looked at the curriculum and really reviewed it prior to putting it in the hands of us teachers and then into our students, I think a lot of this would change. I, um, like I said, I'm new to this. I could use your support. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, today I looked at my husband and said, what did I get myself into? Um, it's, it is a lot, but I believe enough in these students and I care enough about the kids in this district and I want the community to care about this district. We believe in taxation with representation. I don't care if you have someone, a student in the district or not, a grandchild or not, it still affects you because they live around you. So I would really appreciate your support. I won't be on the primary, I'll be on the general as you know, but any way I can get support from you, I'd greatly appreciate it. My name is Mark Doriani. I'm running for Senator in District 6, uh, which uh, many of you are familiar with it. It runs essentially from uh, East Cheyenne, so from Chalk Road, Christensen Road, over towards the Nebraska border, all the way up north uh, through to Torrington Highway, all the, all the way up to Glendo. So it is the size, essentially almost the size of Connecticut. It is predominantly rural, and that is the reason that I am running, because I don't think the current senator is really representing the rural district and the farmers and the ranchers very well. My family and I run a cattle ranch 
in southeast uh, Wyoming. Prior to that, I spent 25 years overseas. I'm very worried about the Wyoming that we're going to leave our grandchildren. So if you are tired of seeing sprawling uh, farms, as they call them, what I call industrial sites of wind turbines, of uh, uh, data centers that are coming into this area, which can adversely affect our electricity and our water. If you're tired of uh, big industrial solar panel installations replacing our farms and our ranches, then please join me uh, in this campaign because I want to get uh, Wyoming to stay Wyoming. So my name is Gary Brown. I'm running for House District 41. Um, where, you, where that district is, you're standing in it. It includes this area to the south of us here in the avenues from uh, I-25 over to Evans. The person I'm running against has been known to vote with the Democrat Party 85 to 87 percent of the time on recorded votes. I'm in favor of cutting our property taxes. Here in Laramie County, over the last 11 years, they have banked $140 million plus in their slush fund. We need to secure our elections. Here in Wyoming, right now, there is not a residency requirement for you to vote. One of my platform issues is to secure the border. But along with that is fentanyl. In the last three years in Wyoming, we've seen between three and 400 fentanyl-related deaths. And then, of course, our Second Amendment has been under attack for years. In fact, my opponent, he will vote against every single good Second Amendment bill we have. So we need to replace him, put somebody in there that wants you to have the right to defend yourself. I'm running to see some real change here in Wyoming. My name is Ben Hornock. I'm running for House District 42. I'm the rep current representative for House District 42. I've been in the legislature for two years and I've had a, a, uh, a heck of a time. So. Um, so far, I haven't gotten any of my bills through because they must be too conservative, I guess, or, or uh, you know, but I think they're what Wyoming needs. Um, so my, my house district is basically I-25 west to Albany County line, and um, it covers Horse Creek, it covers Happy Jack, it covers Auto Road, it covers um, that whole um, section of, of Laramie County. I'm pretty proud of the way I vote. I think it's uh, it's what we need here in Wyoming. And I actually am one of those guys that calls for a roll call vote to help you guys know how other people vote in Wyoming. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Taft Love. I um, want to say thank you to my wife and my kids. They're very patient. They've given me the last dozen years to work for the people in Laramie County. I, said, I spent 10 years on the school board out in eastern Laramie County. We got the new school approved for Pine Bluff. We built that school while I was chairman. We've, we've also moved to the four-day week. We learned how to save a lot of funds in Laramie County for school districts. We built additional wrestling rooms and uh, classrooms at Burns. We also added on a new concession stand out of the football field. We're just a group of people that know how to get things done. I was blessed to be part of a high-functioning board out there. And I'm the current chairman of the Laramie County Republican Party. We had a full-seated set of delegates at our last state convention. We were able to pass a lot of great bylaws uh, for our county and for the state. I'm running for Senate District 6 this time around, and I want to help bring some more, more responsible growth, more responsible ideas. I want to protect Wyoming and the, what we have built Wyoming to be. And I'm asking for your vote for Senate District 6. Okay, I'm Steve Johnson, and this cowboy knows what a woman is. Yeah. My favorite woman is my wife that supports me in all that I'm doing, and I sure love her to pieces, and uh, we have a great team. The reason I'm running, I have nine grandchildren, and I cannot imagine them going to school and not learning the things that I've learned. We've got to do something about Wyoming. We are going the way of uh, California and uh, Colorado. Everybody knows there's something different, there's something wrong. But we need to 
vote out the people that are currently in that, that those positions and uh, vote for this cowboy. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Singh. I am running for House District 61 right here in Cheyenne. I'm currently the representative, so this is my re-election campaign, my uh, second term. It's, it is humbling to say that. I'm so thankful to have earned your trust last time around, and I would like to earn your trust again. I've learned so much in my time in the legislature. When I was 25, I ran for office for the first time. And uh, though I held a smile on my face and I held my head high, I was scared out of my boots for what was, what was about to happen. Everyone was telling me that I was drinking out of a fire hose. I got to see firsthand just the type of games that are played in the House of Representatives. Um, though without breaking any rules, people are able to take ideas that are important to the party and pay lip service to them and then shove them into a drawer never to be seen again, to die a death without ever being heard. Uh, I think that's absolutely preposterous, uh, that we live in an, a Republican-dominated state and that we're not able to pass any Republican legislation. Yeah. We should be experiencing victories not only on election day, but on the last day of third reading yeah. as a party. Uh, and so I, I'm running for this position not because I'm getting paid well <laughs> as, a, as a state representative. I'm doing this because I'm a lifelong resident of the state of Wyoming. I'm a first generation American. My dad emigrated from the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago where freedom doesn't exist the same way that we have it here. My name is Teresa Stry and I'm here representing Jacob, Jacob Wasserberger. He's running for House District 11 and ditto everything Daniel said. <laughs> uh, Jacob, I, I'm really um, excited to help Jacob. I'm also helping out Gary Brown, but I'm really excited to help Jacob because Jacob is just an average guy, right? He, he works at Walmart, he's an insurance agent, uh, but he is a true constitutionalist and he wants to pre protect uh, Wyoming's freedoms. He wants to protect parents' rights. He wants to have a balanced budget. He wants to reform uh, property tax and just bring individual liberty back to people and, and not entangle themselves with the government telling you how to live and how much you need to pay them and that they'll take care of all of your money and your services for you. So I would really appreciate it if anybody is in 11 or would like to help knock doors or would like to donate, he has a website, Jacob, the number four, wyoming.com. Uh, donations would be really helpful because this is a shoestring grassroots campaign that we're running. So appreciate y'all being here. Thank you.